Hi, welcome back. Back out in the garage today and I've got a new lighting rig up so hopefully the video will be looking a little bit more professional. Um, made use of the Black Friday sale and bought myself a decent cob light and uh, yeah it's pretty pretty good. Looks like it's getting some um, some better effect than the, the cheaper stuff I was using so I'm pleased with that. Back to business, uh, today I'm going to be looking at a multi-tool that I use a lot. Uh, I haven't really discussed multi-tools yet on the channel. Uh, I use them a lot for work, uh, you know, doing armorous stuff, spend a lot of time on ranges and I've always got use for a multi-tool. But I recently bought a new Leatherman multi-tool. I managed to misplace the one that I had and uh, really happy with it I had a good look through the range and see see what one uh, appealed most to me and there's one downside to this one which I'll get into but other than that I'm really pleased with it had some good results it is the OHT model you can see that there and it's a little bit different to most most multi tools out there most of them would open up and then the pliers are on the inside whereas this one they actually extend out from the tool itself and that in theory can be uh, put away with one hand and then once it's put away it goes back to its nice compact size and then you've got a little locking piece there where you can just lock that in place so now it won't move at all. So we're gonna do a top down on this, just go through each of the tools and functions and I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what I think can be better about it. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got our Leatherman OHT here as you can see nice and compact it's about the same size as an average Leatherman multi-tool and one of the things I actually missed to start with is that the design on the outside of these uh, scales here they're like polymer scales and the design there actually tells you which tool is in which place which I hadn't figured out for quite a while so you can see there the shape of that open it out you can open them all one-handed and they all lock in place with this frame lock type mechanism or liner lock Looking back, what a mess 
which you see here we have a small locking mechanism just turn that round that then pulls out it exposes we've got needle nose part of the plier then you've got your recessed standard part of the plier there and then we've got cutters in there which are replaceable which is one thing that differs from some of the other multi-tools I've had in the past replaceable cutters so they can just be removed see a allen screw there allen screw there and those two cutters can be simply removed and replaced and that just pulls back down you can actually engage these sometimes by just holding them and throwing them up like so and then the same you can just pull them back down up down so that's really simple one-handed opening nice and quick it's pretty slick it's sprung loaded you see it's full of rubbish because I haven't bothered cleaning it I use all my gear I'm not here just saving it in a, a corner for a rainy day I always put that lock back on so that stops it moving because of the way I carry this is in this clip and carry Kydex holster these come with a mole sheath but the mole sheaths I'm not a huge fan of those I prefer Kydex so it just clips in there like so got a nice big belt clip on the back that's a UK company but I know there's plenty of Kydex companies out there that, that do these nice and easy you can actually adjust the tension on this by just backing those screws off I like it heavily retained and if you don't put that stop on If you leave that like so and I carry it in the Kydex what happens as I walk around it starts doing that and they actually work out the bottom so you can actually access that from there and just click it back on the downside to the tool the only issue I've got with it it doesn't come with scissors and scissors are something I do use quite often so I would have preferred scissors on there but you know that's not an option for this tool I like the one-handed operation if you don't need that one-handed operation then arguably there might be better tools out there but this I've been really really pleased with it's comfortable it's as comfortable as a multi-tool can be I mean they're not like super ergonomic but they are pretty comfortable to use not any particular hot spots on there overall great piece of kit